Marshall Nicholas Rosenbluth Center for Controlled Thermonuclear Fusion Studies. Physics of the Energy Sources, Laser-Driven Thermonuclear Fusion, M. N. Rosenbluth, 1991, La Jolla, California, USA. The fact that the center is so below, so we can back in the desired region. Well, I mentioned part of the game is to uh, reduce the initial asymmetries, which you can do by increasing the number of beams of the laser and the heat moving the line of accuracy and so forth. Detail. But there's one, one, uh, maybe also, but one clever thing which people have come up with in the next few years, in the last few years, namely, if you introduce in the laser light uh, on purpose various both spatial and, and temporal coherence and, and jittery a bit. Then if, then if you have irregularities, they spread over the surface in, uh, in time and space, and that can, uh, so you start, you don't push the same the way they say they're in stability at the same level. This kind of indicates uh, how the, the levels you expect of the various Careful harmonic mode of the laser, which shows how it can be produced by one of these uh, one of these spreading techniques. Here is a picture which shows uh, this is just a picture of the illumination from the laser on the surface. Here you have no you have just the laser itself, and there are some compressions of the laser, which is not really great. Exactly. You put in spatial incoherence, uh, an echelon system, other people 